What's up gang? Welcome back. Got another short uh, ride and review for you today. I, uh, I'm checking out an oyster happy hour. I'm going to meet the cake dealer, get some oysters. This place has um, what they call double dozens. They uh, charge $1.50 per oyster, but if you get one dozen, your second dozen is free so they uh, average out to like 75 cents a piece which is awesome so i'm gonna try that a couple other items on the menu look good and um if you're someone who likes a good happy hour and if you do like oysters there's a lot of good oyster happy hours down here This, this area, I mean, there's a lot of bars down here and there's a lot of oyster happy hours, dollar oysters, uh, 10 bells, uh, bar belly, a couple of good ones. Uh, my new favorite, Essex Pearl, down in the market line. That's really good. And most of the places have like really good drink specials too to go with the happy hour deals so you really uh, get your money's worth so this place I'm going to today is called down and out and their happy hour is daily from four to seven which is generous especially if it's every day including the weekend they have three dollar beers that's awesome so we'll see what they have in terms of selection. So this place is on uh, Avenue A and 6th. So it'll be pretty quick on Houston now, cruising west. And I'll um, bust the right on Essex, which will be Avenue A at this point. It's a little gloomy today. Hopefully I don't get rained on. Shout out to my friend Mike's dad, Mr. Mirabella. Thank you for watching. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to have to come out there and try Don Pepe with you and your son. Old school Italian out in Ozone. Ozone Park, I believe. That's where my mom was born. All right, I think this place is right, is right here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we got puddled. Double dozens. Yeah, I don't have 
That's so cool. It's like right out of the office. Yeah. Nice. This place was really good. Bartender is awesome. Guy's name is Josh. He uh, he owns the place. He is a whiskey collector. So you saw in the video they had um, some really old vintage whiskeys, which was really cool. Really nice of him to uh, let us sample those. What the fuck is this? That's why I don't pay attention to fucking traffic rules. Always some sort of bullshit. Fuck that. Fucking assholes. So anyway, back to the review. Down and out. East Village, East 6th Street. Place is great. Oysters are really nice, fresh, nicely shucked, clean. Three dollars for a can of beer. That was good. Uh, those whiskeys, those old vintage whiskeys that I was talking to you about, he's got a shitload of those and he's waiting on a permit so that he can actually sell them. Right now, I guess it's a different permit than it is for like, you know, your liquor, your normal liquor license. So he said once he gets that, which is in process, he's gonna basically double his whiskey selection that's currently on the menu, which is a lot. There was a lot of whiskey on the menu. Uh, I saw there was a sign, they have live jazz, um, I think Wednesday nights, which is cool. That's a good draw for midweek. The food was delicious. That um, that oyster soup, that was really tasty. It's kind of like a bisque almost. Crab cake was good. Deviled eggs were good. They have these uh, fancy canned items like sardines, mussels, clams you know like imported from like Spain and other parts of Europe those were good you know with a little bit of their fresh country bread that they make but I gotta tell you man that that is a great deal for oysters 75 cent oysters we always get two dozen anyway at least to start and they let you mix the varieties too so we tried two we tried Glidden Point which I liked. They were um, similar to like a Blue Point, like an East Coast style. And then the little ones with the deeper shells were uh, uh, West Coasters. My wife liked those ones better. She liked those ones better. I'm, I'm more of an East Coast type guy, but both good. But this is, a, this is definitely a place that I'm gonna put into the rotation uh, as a regular spot to go especially for oyster happy hour and you know if you're a fan of rare whiskeys this place is legit um that canadian club was from 1940. that was a nice rare treat <laughs> cute little guy cute little guy in the way though So thanks for watching. Tune in again soon. I got some more rider reviews coming up for you. Make sure you tell your friends, tell your family. And as always, 
Tell your fucking grandma.